Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Hello and welcome. This is RenewEnergy.com, where we focus on the most pressing issues and innovative solutions in the renewable energy sector. Today, we are delving deep into the work of the Hydrogen Science Coalition. The Hydrogen Science Coalition is a collective of independent academics, scientists, and engineers specializing in hydrogen production, transportation, and end-use sectors. Their objective is to contribute an evidence-based perspective to the global conversation around hydrogen's role in the energy transition. This coalition addresses five guiding principles that serve as a blueprint for governmental bodies, policymakers, and industry stakeholders. These principles offer a nuanced understanding of how hydrogen technology should be prioritized to meet the demands of a world increasingly aware of climate change impacts. From advocating for near-zero emission hydrogen produced from renewable energy, to urging careful deliberation over sectors where hydrogen could best serve decarbonization efforts, the coalition provides actionable insights. One of the most pressing issues they address is the inefficiency and life cycle emissions related to hydrogen production from fossil fuels, even with carbon capture and storage CCS. They caution that hydrogen should not serve as a delay tactic against deploying existing electrification and energy efficiency solutions. Moreover, the coalition discourages blending hydrogen into the existing natural gas grid, citing its limited impact on emission savings and the need for expensive infrastructure upgrades. They advocate for focusing on sectors that can offer significant and immediate emissions reductions. For anyone interested in a nuanced, scientific take on how hydrogen can serve our energy needs without compromising on our climate goals, the Hydrogen Science Coalition is an indispensable resource. For more details, visit their website at www.h2sciencecoalition.com. Why hydrogen is crucial. Climate change context. Climate change is an urgent and escalating crisis, and the need for diversified energy solutions has never been more crucial. As we continue to rely heavily on fossil fuels, the clock keeps ticking on our ability to limit global warming to manageable levels. This is where hydrogen comes into play. Hydrogen is one of the cleanest fuels available, emitting only water vapor upon combustion or when utilized in fuel cells. Because of its clean nature, it has the potential to decarbonize a range of sectors from long-haul transport and industry to heating for homes and offices. Role in the energy landscape. Currently, the world's energy landscape is undergoing a seismic shift towards more sustainable and renewable energy solutions. Hydrogen, often dubbed as the fuel of the future, stands as a highly promising candidate in this transition. While solar and wind technologies are excellent for generating electricity, they can't easily replace fossil fuels in all applications. Some sectors like heavy transport, aviation, and manufacturing need a form of energy that can be stored and transported easily and can deliver high levels of power. This is where hydrogen excels. Furthermore, hydrogen can act as an effective storage solution for excess renewable energy. With the ability to be stored and transported, surplus energy can be converted into hydrogen through electrolysis and used when required, helping to balance out the grid and provide a backup for intermittent renewable energy sources. In short, hydrogen's role is not to replace other forms of renewable energy, but to complement them, filling in the gaps where traditional renewables fall short. And this is precisely why the Hydrogen Science Coalition advocates for its careful and strategic implementation in our energy systems. Guiding Principle 1, Zero Emission Hydrogen Types of Hydrogen, Gray, Blue, Green Hydrogen is not a one-size-fits-all solution, its environmental impact varies depending on how it is produced. There are three primary types of hydrogen based on their production methods and associated emissions. Gray Hydrogen, produced from natural gas through a process called steam methane reforming, SMR. This is the most common form of hydrogen but also the least environmentally friendly, as it releases significant amounts of CO2. Blue hydrogen, similar to gray hydrogen, but with carbon capture and storage CCS, technologies to reduce its carbon footprint. While it's a step in the right direction, it still doesn't completely eliminate emissions. Green hydrogen, produced using renewable energy sources like wind, solar, or hydro to power electrolysis of water. This is the most environmentally friendly form of hydrogen, emitting zero greenhouse gases during its production. Importance of green hydrogen The future of hydrogen as a sustainable energy carrier rests on the advancement and adoption of green hydrogen. Here are a few reasons why green hydrogen is so important. 
zero emissions, green hydrogen offers a path to decarbonization without contributing to greenhouse gas emissions, aligning with global climate goals. Versatility, its wide range of applications, from fueling vehicles to heating homes and even producing electricity, makes it a versatile energy solution. Energy storage, given the intermittent nature of renewable energy sources like solar and wind, green hydrogen can act as an effective storage medium, ensuring a stable and reliable energy supply. Economic potential, with declining costs of renewable technologies, green hydrogen is becoming more economically viable, presenting new opportunities for job creation and economic development. In essence, the focus should be on accelerating the shift towards green hydrogen, as it stands as the embodiment of the Hydrogen Science Coalition's zero emission mandate. Guiding principle 2, target hard to decarbonize sectors. Examples of key sectors. The application of hydrogen is not merely limited to replacing fossil fuels in conventional scenarios. It can serve as a game changer in sectors where electrification and other decarbonization strategies are less effective or impractical. The key sectors include Industrial processes, industries like steel and cement manufacturing produce significant CO2 emissions. Hydrogen can replace carbon-intensive reagents in these processes. Heavy transport, think of shipping, aviation, and long-haul trucking. The energy density of hydrogen makes it suitable for these applications where batteries might not be practical due to weight and range limitations. Heating, for regions where electric heat pumps are less effective, hydrogen can be mixed with natural gas to lower the carbon intensity of heating systems. Short case studies. Steel manufacturing in Sweden, the hybrid initiative aims to revolutionize steelmaking by using hydrogen instead of coal. Early tests have been promising, showing that it's possible to produce zero emission steel. Hydrogen-powered ferries in Norway, the country is pioneering the use of hydrogen fuel cells for its maritime transport, aiming to make its coastal operations entirely green by 2030. California's hydrogen strategy in heavy-duty trucks, California is investing in hydrogen refueling infrastructure specifically targeted at long-haul trucks, setting a precedent for the sector's decarbonization across the U.S. In targeting these hard-to-decarbonize sectors, hydrogen's role transcends that of just another alternative fuel, it becomes a linchpin in the transition to a fully sustainable economy. Guiding Principle 3, Don't Delay Existing Solutions Importance of Other Renewable Options While hydrogen holds tremendous promise for a decarbonized future, it is critical to remember that it is one piece of a much larger puzzle. Renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and hydro have already proven their effectiveness and are becoming increasingly economical. These technologies should continue to be deployed at scale for immediate reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. The urgency of the climate crisis demands immediate action with all available tools. How hydrogen complements them. Hydrogen should not be viewed as a replacement for these existing renewable technologies but as a complementary solution that addresses gaps in our current energy system. Here's how. Energy storage. Hydrogen can act as a form of long-term energy storage, helping to balance the intermittency of solar and wind energy. Grid stability, hydrogen can be used in fuel cells to produce electricity on demand, supporting grid stability, particularly when renewable energy supply is low. Inter-sector coupling, hydrogen can connect various sectors like transportation, industry, and heating, serving as a versatile energy carrier that facilitates a more integrated and efficient energy system. Resource optimization, in cases where renewable energy is abundant but not immediately needed, it can be used to produce hydrogen, effectively storing that energy for later use in applications ranging from fuel cells to industrial processes. By adhering to this guiding principle, the focus remains on an all-of-the-above approach to decarbonization, ensuring that we make the best use of all available technologies while continually pushing the envelope in scientific and technological innovation. Guiding Principle 4, No Blending in Natural Gas Pipelines Risks and Inefficiencies while some advocate for blending hydrogen into existing natural gas pipelines as a transitional step toward decarbonization, there are several reasons to approach this strategy with caution. Material integrity, hydrogen is a smaller molecule than methane and can cause hydrogen embrittlement, a process that weakens metal over time. Most existing natural gas pipelines are not designed to handle this, raising long-term safety concerns. Energy density, hydrogen has a lower energy density by volume compared to natural gas. This means that a pipeline filled with a blend of natural gas and hydrogen will deliver less energy than a pure natural gas pipeline, requiring more infrastructure to meet the same energy demand. Separation costs, if the end use requires pure hydrogen or pure methane, the mixed gas must be separated, which is an energy-intensive and costly process. 
regulatory hurdles, blending may require changes to existing safety and energy regulations, a time-consuming process that could delay the rollout of other effective solutions. Alternatives Given these challenges, alternative strategies might be more effective and less risky. Dedicated hydrogen pipelines, designing and building pipelines specifically for hydrogen transport avoids the problems associated with blending and allows for optimization based on hydrogen's unique properties. Localized production, producing hydrogen close to where it will be used minimizes the need for long-distance transport, reducing costs and safety risks. Other transport methods, hydrogen can be transported as a liquid or in chemical compounds like ammonia, options that don't involve the existing natural gas infrastructure. Electrification, where feasible, directly electrifying processes and systems can bypass the need for hydrogen, eliminating the problems associated with blending. By following this guiding principle, the aim is to integrate hydrogen into our energy systems in a way that is both safe and efficient, thereby accelerating our path toward a sustainable future. Guiding Principle 5, Local Production Over Import Environmental Impact one of the most compelling arguments for local hydrogen production over importation lies in the environmental benefits it offers. Here are a few key considerations. Reduced transport emissions. Importing hydrogen typically involves shipping or piping it across long distances, resulting in additional greenhouse gas emissions. Local production eliminates or minimizes these emissions. Energy loss. Hydrogen is often less energy dense than other fuels, meaning that transporting it over long distances can be less efficient and more energy intensive negating some of its environmental advantages. Local renewable energy, producing hydrogen locally often allows for the integration of renewable energy sources like wind or solar power. This makes it easier to produce green hydrogen, the most environmentally friendly form of the gas. Supporting data or case studies. Iceland's geothermal hydrogen. Iceland has effectively used its geothermal energy to produce hydrogen locally. This has not only reduced their dependence on imports but also made their hydrogen production virtually carbon neutral. Germany's transition, Germany is investing in local hydrogen production facilities that rely on renewable sources, moving away from imported natural gas. This shift is expected to reduce CO2 emissions significantly. California Solar Hydrogen In certain parts of California, pilot projects are successfully using excess solar power to produce hydrogen. This local production reduces transport-related emissions and costs. By focusing on local production over import, we can substantially lower the environmental impact of hydrogen as a fuel and contribute to the broader goals of climate change mitigation and sustainability. Conclusion and Q&A Summary of Main Points Today, we've covered a lot of ground. Why hydrogen is crucial, in the context of climate change and its increasing role in the energy landscape, hydrogen emerges as a key player. Guiding Principles Zero Emission Hydrogen, focusing on the importance of green hydrogen over gray and blue types. Target hard to decarbonize sectors, addressing specific sectors where hydrogen can make the most impact, backed by short case studies. Don't delay existing solutions, highlighting how hydrogen should complement, not replace, other renewable options. No blending in natural gas pipelines, discussing the inefficiencies and risks associated with this practice. Local production over import, emphasizing the environmental benefits and presenting supporting data. For more in-depth coverage and updates on these topics, make sure to follow RenewEnergy.com. Thank you for your attention and engagement. We look forward to your questions. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.